Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do ever in DIY. Today we have a service call for a water source heat pump. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. We are working in a wine room. This room is air conditioned. This is a water source heat pump. It's definitely not cooling in here and I can see right away that we have a pressure control that is bypassed. All right, so off the bat, this pressure control is gone. And there's another one right there that that's gone, but looks like they put in a dual like this and just literally have it laying in. That is definitely something. I got my digital gauges on there right now. And we have a basically 120 pound standing pressure. Our suction line is room temperature at about 69 degrees. Let's see what's going on. Control panels on this side. There's really not much space, but let's see what's going on here. All right, we have a thermostat here. It sets just above 60 degrees. I'm gonna reset it. So the thermostat's definitely doing something. So it should be in cooling right now. I got nothing. Let's see if there's a five minute delay. Uh, we got a contactor here, we got two run capacitors, a transformer, and some sort of control board. I got a green light on there. Not sure what that means. I don't even know what kind of unit this is. The panels are missing. Filter is definitely brand new. Let's give it a few minutes and see what's going on. All right, while we wait, let's see what's going on. So I got my meter on volts AC. Here's where the thermostat comes in. I'm gonna check between R and C. Let's see if we got the 24 volts. Man, it's tight. All right, we got 25.9, we got 24 volts. Now let's check. Oh man, this thing is in my way. The probes are on my camera. Let's check between R and Y. Got 25 volts. So technically this board is not, or it's not calling yet. Something in this board has to close. Might be a time delay. So I traced the wires from the pressure control. It's gonna be these two yellow wires. So I wanna see what kind of voltage I am getting across. I got 24 volts across. Got 24 volts across here. I'm gonna try this at home. So nothing happened, but if you look, we got a steady light. We got a steady green light now. It was blinking before. I wonder if this is what's locked us out. Okay, the machine just started. I hear the water valve, the water regulating valve right here opened up. Okay, we're cooling. I actually feel it already. Let's take a look at these pressures. See what shut this thing down. All right, we've been running for quite some time. It's cooling down in here. 51 PSIG back pressure. It's a bit low but we got 18 degrees superheat. I would like that pressure to be a little bit higher. It's an R22 system. Thing is I don't have a temperature probe on the liquid line somewhere hidden in here, but I wonder what happened here. Why did it shut down? Possibly on low pressure high side it's fine all right so there's the unit and one of these pipes you see they drain into this hole the water is like almost right there it's not good see 
little bit of water on the floor too. This drain might be slightly clogged, but it's also a lot of water. We could adjust the water flow through that water regulating valve, but it's gonna affect the head pressure. All right, so it definitely tripped on pressure. When I bypass this, it worked because when you look over here, that little brass button right there for this pressure control, that's a manual reset. Well, hold up a second. I actually, the only reset for that, I think it's only a high pressure reset. High pressure. Let me see. Everything just shut down. Let's reset it through this. Right there, I just reset it. Let's reset the thermostat. All right, everything closed, turned off. Let's reset this thing. Last time it took like a couple minutes for it to start. All right, that was it. Manually, I pressed the reset. Everything's looking okay. We got my thermometer close to the return. That's 66 degrees in here. And according to this, we only want to keep it at 65. Back pressure is a little low for its head pressure. But this room cools down pretty quick. So to reach 65, they honestly should be fine. Let's, let's keep an eye on this. But my conclusion right now is that I know they had issues in the past where water gets shut down. And what happens is when the water gets shut down, this is a water cooled unit, we have high head pressure. This pressure control, to my knowledge and understanding, that reset is only a manual high pressure reset. The low side was an automatic reset, only the high side. So it's telling me something like there was an issue with the high side, but with 221 pounds of pressure, there's nothing wrong with that high side. So when I'm looking at this, the high side is set to kick out at about 275, 300 pounds. I think it might be 300 pounds. And the low side looks like it kicks out at around 40. R22 freezes up, I believe around 48 pounds. So, I guess that's that. It probably went off on high head and that's it. And another thing I'm noticing here, there's no, there's no strainer. I'll double check, but I don't see any strainer. The back pressure is low, a bit low. But look, it's already, this is within a couple minutes, 64.4 degrees. It's already reached where it needs to be. And we don't have a high pressure issue. The back could be a little low, but hey, they'll be all right. Thing is, though the hands that touched on it, I might not even freeze. If I'm looking at it, that's a suction line. It's sweating, it's sweating nicely. And it ain't that bad. We got a 18 degree super heat. So by this point, it's already gonna be satisfied in here. 64.8. All right, we already reached temp. So definitely this building has a history of chiller guys coming in, shutting down the water. Next thing you know, machines like this go down because the condenser is tied to water. But anyways, this we're gonna leave this at that. Might wanna take a look at those pressures once again, but if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Catch you all next time.